Hello everybody, it's Theron, welcome to Minecraft Maker. We have kind of a special, special episode here, uh, a little testing science, Minecraft science episode. So, uh, so this, this here, which is why I'm here, working on the advent calendar. And uh, I'm going to put this on one of the servers along with, um, for the kids. Yeah, you know, for the kids. <laughs> And the uh, hang, hey, Clancy, Clancy, no. Sorry about that. So we have a little brick building here. We've got uh, a little chest in the back that we can put stuff in. And we come up here, and it's like, oh, December first. Click. Oh, burn out the the wall. And then when it goes away. And when it goes away, come on. Oh, look. Oh, look. I got a flint and steel. Very exciting. There we go. Uh, and normally it burns out quicker than that. That was interesting. So, and then, uh, like an advent calendar, goes up. We have multiple layers. I'm going to put, I was thinking of putting railings around here. I put some uh, wooden railings. Oh, look. This one's out already. And there's nothing in there because I haven't loaded it. Um, so I, I put a uh, wooden railing, acacia rail uh, fence around here is railing. And I lit one of these on fire and it caught the fence on fire and burned out all the wall. And we had a Christmas disaster. It was, uh, it was pretty funny. Anyway, that's not why we're here today. Um, we're here because of this thing. So uh, the mending enchantment is like the coolest thing. It's definitely the best part of 1.9. And, uh, yeah, so we, let's, let's get rid of all our stuff and go into, uh, go into, into survival mode. Yeah. And so I've got like 44 levels here. When I press this button, click, Ooh, all my levels are gone. I've got two pickaxes and I've got armor. And I've got some balls and chanting. All this stuff has the mending enchantment and it has one durability point on it. So all this stuff is almost broken. So, built this little thing, dispenser down here, a little hallway, so that I can, I can put some bottles of enchanting in here and it'll go break them out. And so I wanted to do a little experiment. So the question was, and this came up in a YouTube comment section of a video, uh, how to manage the repairs. So now we got a bunch of experience sitting on the ground there. And the, the wiki says that if you have more than one thing with the mending enchantment on it, it chooses randomly and applies it to that. Uh, and, but somebody was like, no, the wiki is wrong. And it applies it to the thing in your hand first and then into the ha offhand slot and then into your experience bar. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six things, all with the mending enchantment and need repairing. So if you come up here as the uh, as the XP starts to come up to me, you'll see the pickaxes will actually dip like that. And that's actually the mending enchantment kicking in and the repairs going on to that item. Obviously you don't see it with the armor. At least I don't think you do. No. And when all is said and done, you notice that both of the pickaxes were dipping. So now this one has 195, 109, 145, 135, 207, 121. So it seems to spread around amongst all of them. And I have no experience on my bar here. So I think we can say that the wiki is correct. So the question is, what happens when we... Uh, give me some more bottles of enchanting, please. So the next question is, what happens when something is completely repaired, but still has the mending enchantment? At what point does 
at what point does the XP start going on to your into your XP bar? So some of this stuff like you know like the helmet is going to be repaired pretty quickly and the boots I mean these don't have a huge durability caps to start with the picks have much higher durability so let's just go start picking up some of this experience here there's quite a bit of it start repairing stuff and we can watch it repairing well, look the helmet's going to be repaired pretty quickly it's probably going to be first So we have this constant stream of XP and the helmet is almost fixed and oh and look stuff still needs repairing but the helmet is fixed now the pants are fixed and stuff is starting to go on to the XP bar so I think what's going on here is pretty simple basically as the XP comes in now all the armor is repaired and stuff is going on to the XP bar faster so I think what happens is it goes and it looks in the armor slots, the offhand slot, or the shield slot, whatever you want to call it, and you're in your hand. And it says, okay, what has what all the things that have mending enchantment, and it chooses amongst them even uh, you know randomly. And if that thing needs repair, it then adds the XP to it uh, to repair it. And if it doesn't need repair, then it goes on to your XP bar. So now all the armor is repaired and the two picks are both about two-thirds repaired so I bet if we pick up the rest of the experience you can see it dipping and if I take these off now all of it's going on to it and none of it's going on to the bar so probably the the likelihood of it going onto the bar or onto the item is, is determined by, it's probably evenly random amongst them. So if you put mending on your armor, there we go, now it's all going on, right? Because none of the items need repairing anymore. And by the way, I think this was actually a really good change. Um, this stuff used to swirl up around you, and for people who are photosensitive have like photosensitive epilepsy I could see that being a problem so having to go down around the feet it allows you to sort of avoid all that sparkly flashing stuff I think that was a good change so so yeah so I have a feeling that uh, yeah that's that's exactly what's happening it basically goes and looks so here you have a potential of six things that chooses randomly amongst them sort of best case I've got six things with mending. It chooses randomly amongst them. It says, oh, helmet. I choose the helmet. And the helmet, if it doesn't need repair, it says, okay. Then it passes it through to the XP bar. It doesn't search for another item that needs mending. If they're all mended, of course, everything goes on to the XP bar. But if everything needs mending, all the XP goes into, mend into the repairs until one or more of the things that you have with a mending enchantment in one of the viable slots uh, is uh, completely repaired. So I believe that's uh, that's the way it works. So the, the wiki is basically correct, um, but I think we can demonstrate that uh, there's it's a little bit more to it. And so if you have a have if you have an XP farm. Um, and you're using mending enchantment on your armor and your tools um, and you want to focus that repairing on to one thing oh <laughs> let's uh, let's go let's give myself a new set of armor so can these stack Interesting. So when they come out, when the uh, the command block creates them, they can actually stack until they're separated, and then they can't stack anymore. So here, two items that both need repairing, nothing in the slots, and all of the all of the all the repair should go on both those things, and nothing going to nothing going to my experience tally. Um, oops. But once one thing doesn't need it. 
a third of the XP is probably going to the uh, to the experience tally. It'd be difficult to actually judge that probably. But if I can come up with a way of doing it, I'll, I'll do the experiment. But otherwise, I think this pretty uh, definitively shows that uh, it is spread them out across all the things randomly that need repairing. And if you've got stuff that with a mending enchantment that doesn't need repairing, um, it will go onto your experience bar. So if you want to focus the repairs, you should not be wearing anything. Or carrying anything that uh, needs repairing that does not need repairing but has the remending enchantment interesting okay well, anyway I think that that's what I wanted to show um, I hope that was interesting and useful uh, certainly interesting to me hopefully it was interesting to you and uh, ooh, see if I can outrun the experience orbs well, some of them that's a lot of experience Okay. All right. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, I will uh, probably do some more science stuff like this. Uh, I don't know if there's too much to do with the frost walker. I don't know how much testing there we can do with that. But uh, I'll see if I can come up with some more experiments on here. It'd be interesting to know if there's a way of measuring if it's exactly even amongst the slots or if it's even in some other way. But I have a feeling it's even across the slots. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.